a pallet in the trash? I think not. You're going with me, young man. <laughs> Is that a hand basket? <laughs> Sorry. What? Smells like not. I'm <laughs> nope. That is cool. What? Is this made to look old or is it old? It is old. Wow. It says hair light, eyes blue, something fair. Dress is blue. Hood is white. Wow. I think that is an old picture. Look at the eyes. Okay. Good morning. Thanks for leaving your medal out. to take this pallet out and well hello what's up meow ming how are you you doing good hmm what is that what is that you got something on you you got something on you Ooh, two grills yes please Busy road. Fall out, sir. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. Well, hello, kitty cat. Stuff's all wrapped up. Huh. Guess it's easier to to move when the drawers aren't bashing you. Wow. Dude, this is like well besides the spider webs, it looks like it's brand new. Seriously. Wait. There's a book in here. Keeping your Thomasville furniture beautiful for a life. Wow. So it comes with its own. Has it ever, has it ever even been used? It's like, it's like brand new. Hmm.
Wow. Um, yeah, I don't think this has ever even been used. It smells completely brand new. Okay, I want to grab a couple nightstands. the truck up oh. <clears throat> yeah I'm not carrying that second one I'm gonna back the truck up seriously it's like it's brand new I don't think it's like brand new I think it is brand new <clears throat> A nice finish too. I mean really. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, this is no joke. <laughs> That's way heavier than it looks. Someone's gonna get mad. Paul, you you ruined someone having the whole set. No. <clears throat> oh, oh. Man, it's gonna be here shortly. Hmm. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Yeah, so those nightstands and stuff was in the next street over. Yeah, they're gonna get crunched up in the trash truck. Yeah. These are literally brand new. Huh. Wild. Olivia, we have a guest coming. Yeah, Marty from uh, Still Scrap Kingdom is on his way. Give me a text and said, hey, I'm in town. I said, all right. Yeah, I think that's Marty coming. What's up, Marty? Lock it up, bruh. This tipped over. Um, it's kind of perfect. So yeah, it's been, I don't know, eight hours. Uh, I wasn't finding stuff, so I just Decided to call it quits, and now I'm doing some evening scrapping. But I really don't want to be tracking this stuff. So I thought I would sweep it out at my house and then go find um, some evening scrap. That doesn't even look bad. Dude. Seriously, it looks really nice. Seriously, that looks awesome. These folks know to leave the scrap out. This grill is not rusted at all. It's like it's been indoors. 
Yeah. I'll bet there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, we'll see. There might be something wrong with it. That's why it's on the curb. But I have a feeling. And for a grill not to rust here in Illinois is rare. Clip them, else I'll forget. Off trailer, lawnmower, and a bike. Really? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> All right, just make sure I heard properly. <laughs> yeah, don't have the time or patience to do what I was going to do with that. Okay. That needs a dry belt and a battery in it, and it's fine. Okay, so the riding lawnmower? Yeah, gone. Okay. Pedal bike and this. Mm. Wow, okay. Thing that'll hold a uh, rated for 1,500 pounds, but if you're gonna scrap it, that's plenty of steel. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, is there anything wrong with this itself besides it's not gonna work out for your project? No. Okay. No. Wow. It's just been sitting here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, I yeah, have those have projects a, at my house have too. A, 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 a 500 gallon water tank on it. Hmm. And I got the arms on the side. Okay. No. And you, you sh that looks like a good bike. You sure you don't want to keep it? Absolutely. Are they too? I'm definitely sure I might. Uh, right. has a newer one. All right. And now is there a neutral? Um, oh, yeah. this, is, this thing wants to go. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, so a belt and a battery and this thing will probably cut yeah. grass. Yeah, okay. Oh, full of bees. That one was get me. No, those are wasps. <laughs> yep, that's a family. Did did you get got? You got me on the hand. Okay. Yeah, it's uh I got zapped for the first time with a wasp a few weeks back. Let me, let me uh, spray it. Okay. That was beyond awesome. <laughs> it was too big for the lift gate. Or at least, or at least I didn't know quite how to uh, use the lift gate with something bigger than it. And I started thinking, I'm like, all right, do I need longer pieces of wood? How do I, do I do a ratchet strap to the lift gate? And I don't know, but he had some ramps and it rolled really easy. So, uh, <laughs> Wow, that was awesome. 16 horsepower. Hmm. It smells like bug spray. Now, I'm doing just as much shopping as I am scrapping. I need a big rug for my living room. I do. It smells good. You just tell when people have really clean houses. I want it more earth Tony. All right. I don't need any help. I might need some help. Oh, it's in gear. Whoa. whoa. Oh, there's basketball playing going on. All right. Uh, oh, that's reverse. Uh, there's neutral. That's all. Right here. You want help? I don't. 
How about this? I'm going to um, kind of hold it and I don't know what to do. I have an idea. I'm going to let the back wheels fall off this edge and then it's probably going to land on this part. And then I want you, see this little toggle switch? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. When I tell you, I want you to press down, okay? All right. But not until then. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, go ahead. Wow. That was, that was actually perfect. I usually have, okay, that's good. That's good. Usually I have ideas that don't work this well. Thanks, Nate. You're awesome. That came with the truck, you gotta add it to it. I, um, a few months ago, um, they installed it. Wow. Found another bike, too. I, I, was, I was watching a uh, video of you at, when you had like four washers and dryers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that was like, I was yeah. Watching that one. <laughs> I think you're the only one. Whoa! Thank you. I think that's good. No. Did you really? So you were like 50 feet away. No, look, 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 look. Right. was right there. I was all the way over in the grass. He said it. I was about to shoot right after you. He made it. I made it right after him. No, really? Backboard all up. No bad boy, none of that. Wow. If I had a dollar, I would give it to him. All right. It's tight. Let some of the gas out. Let's try this one. There's nothing in there. Yeah, it's empty as can be. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick this up in the morning. Good morning. It is the next day. Yeah, these days are just blurring together. <laughs> Let, let's not start out this day with a copyright strike. Hmm. This looks like it was deluxe at one time. <clears throat> Be quiet. It's 6 a.m. The birds ain't quiet. The G Man ain't quiet. This looks like it's clean aluminum, not even breakage. That's a cool table. Or is it a fire pit stand? Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. What is up, Miguel? Uh, that is the biggest puppy head I've ever seen. There's a lot less scrap on the curb. There is, and I'm, yeah. One, I'm sitting in this truck too long, driving around in between scraps. I need to get out, stretch, move, pick up things. The seat is not my friend. So reasons with no scrap. I think it's a couple reasons. One, I think there's a little bit more competition out here. Two, that people are bringing in their own scrap to the scrapyard to, to redeem money themselves instead of just placing it on the curb. But also they're buying less, I believe. Now this isn't based in facts, it's just some conclusions in my uh, observations. Yes, 
so I'm, I'm done with this, uh, this small town. And uh, one stop? Was that it? Yeah, so uh, there's definitely a lot less scraps out here. Hmm. Let's do this one. This one has no arm, no arms to it. Yeah, like that. Seeing something hanging out on the side of the road. That's a nice barn. Nice corn. Nice scrap. This might be the neatest mega pile I have ever seen. That is awesome. Hey, what's up, Lear? They're all empty. Oh yeah, they're empty. <laughs> He's like, I am done with cases. I'm done with containers. Anybody want any containers? <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a saddle? <gasps> this is gonna go on my e-bike. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna wind up scrapping anything. I'm just finding stuff. Some people were saying, Paul, you're a hoarder. And I'm like, I, I just don't go to shops and spend. I get my stuff from the curb and I videotape it. Um, do people that go to the store, any store, big box store, whatever, are they hoarders? I would argue no. I just happened to shop at the curb. What's up, gooses? Yeah. I'm officially the chairman. Oh, that's completely Illuminati. Yep. Wow. Thanks. Gonna be a tad bit fluffy. Yeah, that works. Hmm. Yeah, these aren't stackable. I don't think they are. I think they, they learned the hard way that they're not stackable. Nope. Kinda. Hmm. Alright, let's try to upside down stack this one. wasn't well thought out. Yeah, <laughs> that's is what I wanted to do. Huh. 
kind of the same thing, but upright. great little saddle bag on my electric vehicle my e-bike good morning Yeah, I'm going to take the aluminum off the truck and uh, yeah, my yard was pretty straight. Seriously, it, it really was. <laughs> they call it the standing end because you're always standing on it. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the aluminum off the truck and I have a little bit more um, of a route to do. It's actually kind of nice. I know it's broken in the center, but so am I. That's why I need a savior. Sure wish the snap tool would work unloading. What is up, my brother? How you doing, man? Right. Yeah, man. Thank you. You're the full service G man. Yeah. All I'm right. The microwave on Fourth uh, Street. Fourth Street. Yeah. On the, okay. Uh, east side of the road. All right. I'll grab it right now. All Thank right. you. Yep. Sure enough, there's the microwave on this busy road. Certainly don't want to be parking right here. Where's the puppy head? In the window. What's up? Looks like a chicken foot. sure what this is it's coax <laughs> we'll take this though all right I'm taking this but I taking this that's trash And the coax is just shred. Yeah. Yay, 
video. That's some scrap separation right there. Yes. No. What? Copper and brass on the curb. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. I can't even pick up the bucket. 30 pounds of brass right here. Why do you park so far away, Paul? Because I don't have good depth perception. Wow. Are you kidding me? Hello. Do you collect metal? Yeah. Okay. Um, it actually, it still works, but... You didn't want it? No, it needs to be power washed, something fierce. Okay, okay. But I don't live in this neighborhood. I'm just here walking my brother's dog. Okay, but okay. I live on... You know, everything is either going to get reused or recycled. So, it's yeah. not going to go to the landfill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. You. Yep, thanks. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll be home shortly and cool. try and get it out there. Yeah, wonderful, thanks. All right, enjoy the day. Metal too? It is. What? Yeah, that's no joke. <laughs> okay, that wasn't fun. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You think I'm being dramatic? Nope. Why do I want to keep this? I just do. Yeah. I just snap it into the truck. Yeah, right on. That's just cool. It's a sponge. I like sponges. That green. The only thing that oxidizes green is not steel. Oh, that's not magnetic. That's copper. That's straight up copper. Are you kidding me? Looks like a little stealth fighter, doesn't it? Right up front. Looks like an old World War II helmet, doesn't it? Oh. You fired. You fired scrap man. Alright, I'm getting ready to go hit the scrap yard, but I was just thinking that uh, it's the cool stuff that I found from uh, that picture, that hundred year old picture or more. Uh, those end tables and the riding lawnmower and the barbecue and the bucket of brass and the I don't know, copper um, so I mean it, it this was just such a so fun doing this I mean it's much more than what I'm selling to the scrapyard as uh, shred steel um, this was just a really really fun scrap adventure what's going on over there they're loading up a truck 
I'll bet I'll have to go to the south side. Now, how much does this truck weigh? Probably not that much. I'm going to guess 6,860. 6860. Yeah. Oh, dude's getting a pizza. And 6960. Wow. So it's 100 pounds more than I thought. That must have been a really big breakfast. Yeah, definitely the south side. So quiet. You hear that? It's nothing. I hear nothing. Hey, why are you parked in the way? Big old pile got moved. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, I can back the truck right there. Might as well untie it before I back up. Should I just punch it? Slam on the brakes? like brass. That's just cool stuff. <clears throat> you would do it too if you were here. Do you think it'll be 500 pounds? Um, I'm thinking it might be. Those, those bed bucket, those poles were heavy. So 64, 60? So 400 pounds. Now you're ready. Okay. I was going in a slow motion. How's your day going? It's super good, man. Yeah. I found a bucket of brass on the curb. Found a bucket of brass? Yeah. I found so much stuff, it's it's wrong. Right, we'll take it. We'll take extra yeah, coin. man. Yeah, extra coin. I like that. Have a good weekend, man. Or actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Cool, you. All right, man. And we need to finish our, our talk about um, physics. I and... Yeah. Dude, it's just, I, 
I really get into it. And I, and I always have. Even though, like, I never graduated high school and I was always, like, considered the slow kid, I really got into the physical world and, and how things work. Right on. So, all right, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Father in heaven, oh, you are so good to us. Even, even when I think that uh, you're not being good, you are. When I look back at all the things that happen in life, you got a hundred percent success rate, God. One hundred percent. Some stuff that I think that didn't work out the way I wanted to. And still turned out to be just right. And that's not easy. It's not easy for me to fathom, for me to understand, for me to grasp, for me to get. And it says for me to not to, it says in your word, for me not to rely on my own understanding, but by every, everything you say. That's what I'm to rely on. And you will direct my path. Thank you for directing my path. In the name of your son, I pray all of that. I do pray, God. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Amen. $31.50. Yes, I do like that a lot. Um, that's some lunch money. That's some, uh, yeah, so it's 420 pounds, uh, 69.80 and 65.60. So 69.80 was how much I weighed going in. I thought it was 69.60. Anyway, it, he has a, a different readout. I'm not sure if they're different numbers, but it's a different readout on the inside. So $150 in that ton, which is seven and a half cents a pound. Yep. And oh, I get a printout of these when I do my taxes. So when I crumple up my receipts, I'm not just like ignoring taxes because yeah, it's um it's a between 20 and 30 percent of everything that I earn, I give it in taxes, both Illinois taxes, federal taxes, um, my local taxes. I, because I'm a company, that I have to pay sales taxes when I sell my goods. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Um, just remember to, to be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing, be you, because there's no one you -er than you. Uh, there's no one me -er than me. That's, it didn't come out right, but you get what I'm saying. I'm gonna go home, get something to drink, take a shower, put up this video. Thanks again for hanging out.